this is Vikasing from Origin and today's video I am going to discuss you about the installation and configuration of child domain control on Windows Server 2012 R2 so if you need our help to set up a domain infrastructure for you or if you want any migration for Active Directory on any server, any server or role you can contact us our highly technical engineers are there to help you without any cost so let's start So installation and configuration child domain control in Windows Server 2012 R2. So basically we are going to uh, promote one domain control as a child domain control in existing forest and we are going to see how it, how it's going to promote and how it's look like and we'll see how, how the child domain control are being used in production to uh, join machine in domain and how we can use the child domain control for a client machine. So here is one demo environment which we are going to use in this demo so our first machine is um, we are using two virtual machines here the, the first machine is Active Directory server which is already having Active Directory domain controller role so the domain name is horizon.co and the machine name hostname is windowcat 12 gc01 which is running on windows server 2012 r2 so here you can see the server is win 2 k 12 dc01 which is my domain control you can see here active directory and dns role is running on this machine and this is basically a forest if i go here and go to active directory users and computer and if i right click and change domain you can see this is my root domain which is origin.co means this is a forest basically so this is a forest and running active directory and dns role and my second server is we are going to promote as a child domain controller in this infrastructure as a prod dot over origin.co so this is going to be a child domain controller so the hostname is win 2 k 12 d 12 cd01 so we need to configure this host name and this IP address and everything so you can see I have installed one Windows Server 2012 R2 machine you can see this is Windows Server 2012 R2 standard machine and I have not done anything so I'm going to promote this machine as a, a, dom a child domain control so we have basically installed a fresh machine uh, with Windows Server 2012 and there we can start from there so this is basically infrastructure which we are going to do this in demo so click next and inst installation and configuration child domain control so the first thing which we need to uh, do on uh, promoting a child domain control we need to configure IP address and join server in domain so I am going to do this so this is my child domain control so I am what I am going to do I am going to configure the IP address so it's 192 I'm going to configure 192.168.1.253 and I'm not going to set default gateway so primary DNS should be the same IP address of this server because this is going to be a child domain controller uh, DNS server so I'm going to put here my main forest d uh, domain controller DNS here so click OK now this is IP config is done now I'm going to rename this and join this machine in domain so make sure you have configured the correct IP address so now you can see the IP address is configured and now I'm going to rename and join in this machine in domain so I'm going to call it win2k12cdc which is child domain controller and I'm going to join this machine in domain which is origin.co now I'm going to put the credential to join this machine in domain welcome to origin.co domain so I have basically joined this machine in dom uh, main forest on where I'm going to add a child domain control so this is going to be a easy for us so now this machine is rebooting so the next task is 
install active directory domain services so I'm going to install the domain services on this machine so let's wait for a few seconds hit the control to tell so now I'm going to log in with the origin admin account domain administrator account so call it administrator put the credential for this account which having a domain admin rights in the main forest account domain so good to go wait for a few seconds and if I go to local server you can see this machine is joined in domain and the machine has an in IP address is configured so we can proceed with the next step which is install active directory domain controller role so I'm going to click on add and roll features click next and role based feature based installation click next and here's our server win 2 k 12 cdc.horizon.co click next and I'm going to install active directory domain services so click this I click next on a feature page leave the everything default we don't need to add anything and I active directory does domain services and the, this is giving some information what is active directory service role so click next and click on inst install on configuration page so now it will take a few seconds to get the installation done for all the binary file which is required for this active directory promotion so after this we can go ahead and promote this uh, promote server as a child domain controller so done and now we are good to go and promote this server as a child domain controller so you can see the D active directory DNS role is there so click promote this server as a child domain control so now we have a three option here select the deployment op uh, options the first machine is add a domain control in existing forest means this is going to be a uh, domain control in, uh, in existing domain so this is basically additional domain control and domain and this is add a new domain to existing forest so we are going to do this we are going to add a new child domain in a parent domain which is origin and I'm going to add here prod if you see here we have a prod.origin.co so I'm going to add this so call it like prod and so our full name full domain name is going to child domain name is going to be a prod.origin.co so click next now we need to put the directory service register mode password so click next and this is going to install a DNS delegation option so click next now it will verify the uh, NetBIOS name so it's going to be a prod so here we go click next leave the path default if you want to change it you can go ahead and change this path so I'm going to use the default path so click next and here we have a review option which we have just selected during the installation wizard and if you want to save this script you can see what we are going to do and you can save this also so we are going to uh, do the database location domain mode domain type child domain and we are going to use a new domain name is prod and new netbios name is prod and parent domain is origin.co so this we are going to do now so and then we have also site name where we are going to add this child domain so good to go close this and click next now it will check the all the pre-requests if it's uh, require any pre-requests uh, uh, promoting a child domain control it will give you the option so you can see all the pre-requests check pass successfully click install to begin installation so we are good to go all the pre-requests has been passed successfully so click install to run the installation for child domain control so this wizard now after after doing this uh, installation and uh, replication for the DNS and active directory everything it's going to promote this server as a child domain controller in our infrastructure 
so we have to wait for few seconds here now you can see it's a disk running machine from origin because it's have to be added in plot.origin.co and now it's configuring DNS services on this computer now it's about to sign uh, log off and it's going to restart now hit control tell Dell to log in now we can go ahead and log in with the other account which you can see we got the accounts prod domain name prod so I'm going to log in now in prod administrator I'm going to type the password for administrator account So now you can see Active Directory and DNS role is installed on this machine. If I go on local server, you can see this machine is uh, now a part of the prod.origin.co. Also, you can verify from here the machine name and the role is system type is now domain controller and primary domain controller. And its uh, machine domain is prod and we have a country IP address and all the information. So this machine is now as a child domain controller. If I go here and actually directly use the same computer, you can see the name is uh, for the domain is prod.origin.co. And if I go here and change domain, browse, you can see we have origin.co which is our main forest and we have also our child domain now which is prod.origin.co so good to go now I'm going to join this machine one machine in in this child domain control and we can check uh, how it's working so I'm going to configure the IP address first on this machine on a client machine Windows 8 client machine so I'm going to put it like 192.168.1.101 and the DNS is the child domain controller DC IP address which is 253 so we are good to go now I'm going to disable it and enable it now I'm going to join this machine in domain so click change going to put here prod.origin.co and put the credential for this account to join this machine in domain oops we need to type the password again good to go welcome to the prod.origin.co domain go ahead and reboot this machine now 
Now I'm going to create one user account here. If I go in users, let me create one user, call it user01 and a child domain control where you want to put it. So I'm going, I want to put it in child domain which is prod underscore zen.co. So now I need to put the share the password. I'm going to never expire. Here you can see we have created one computer uh, user account and if I go here you can see the machine is joined in domain uh, and prod.origin and we are able to find it under the computer. So now I'm going to join with the domain account which is we have just created user1 type the password for user1 so now you can see it's it's taking the account and it's uh, setting up the few application before login so we have to wait for a few seconds here so now you can see we have logged in with this, a user 01 which is under the prod so if I go here and type cmd who am I you can see I am logged into the domain account so basically this is all about implementing the child domain controller in your parent forest and you can see now prod.origin.co is join this machine so we have finally verified the join join machine in, in a child domain and verify the login so we done this so we have successfully created the child domain control in a windows server 2012 and we have verified so here is our contact detail if you need our help in setting up the active directory infrastructure for you you can contact us thank you for watching bye bye